Now I am going to show you a demonstration of how you can read data from a file on the hard disk one character at a time using the standard C file function called as fgetc. fgetc helps you read one character at a time. And using putcare, how to put a character or one character at a time on your PC screen so that you can read the file and see the file on the screen. So first what I am going to do is, since a file exists on the disk, I need to create a file pointer. That means FPTR is a pointer to a file type of a structure. Then what I am going to do here is, I am going to say, the character I am going to read, okay, is going to be of the type int. The reason being, f get c returns the integer value of the character. Now, first thing what I am going to do here is, I need to use the file pointer or I need to associate the file pointer with the file. So I am going to say, let us say I have created the file by name sample.txt in my D drive. And I want to open it in R mode, that means I want to open it in the read mode. So what I am doing here is, I have used a double slash to indicate it, it is actually going to be passed to the operating system like this, d colon backslash sample dot text. The reason for using double slash is because backslash has a special meaning in C because you use it like this backslash n, backslash t for the tab and so on. So the compiler will get confused if you put only a single backslash. So I have put double backslash to indicate to take the special meaning out of this backslash and send d colon backslash sample.txt as the file to the operating system. So using fptr, I am opening a file called as sample.txt in read mode, alright. And the first thing I need to check is if that file when I am opening does it really exist or not. So if the file does not exist, the fptr will return a value or fopen will return a value null. That null is going to be assigned to fptr. So now what I am going to do here is if fptr is equal to null, I am going to print a message, okay printf error reading file okay error reading file that means while opening i had a problem so let me make it error on file open for reading this is more clear error on file open for reading okay this way you know what is the problem i'll create this error and show you how this error can be created then i am going to do an exit and one that means if there is an error, I am exiting with the error message of 1 which can later on be used for different purposes. If I have to use this exit 1, I have to include the function called as std standardlib.h. Standardlib.h is the standard header file if I have to use exit 1. Now what I am going to do here is, assuming I am able to successfully open the file, I am going to use the while loop to keep getting on character using fgetc and fptr okay as long as this fellow is not equal to end of file just hold on for the explanation because it's at times quite difficult to type as well as speak sensibly but trying my best so just be a little patient all right okay so what i'm going to do here is just help you understand this and what i'm doing here is i'm saying put care ch Sorry, put care ch. Now, what we are trying to do here is first time the D drive, I am opening a file called as sample.txt in the read mode. That means I am assuming that data is already there in this sample.txt. If for some reason that file does not exist or the file is damaged, fopen will return a null. fptr is going to be assigned the value null. So if it is null, it indicates that there was an error when I was trying to open a file for reading. But assume there was no error, then what I am going to do is since this is the innermost bracket, f get c, f pointer. So wherever this f pointer or whichever file it is referring to, starting from the first character of that particular file, it is going to read that character, convert its ASCII value into integer and assign it to ch. Now since assignment is an operator in c, assignment is going to return some ASCII value that is going to be compared with end of the file. 
end of the file is generally minus one. Okay, don't it's not guaranteed, but it's generally minus one. It is declared as a macro in standard io io dot h. So the moment I reach the end of file, this condition becomes no longer true. So it becomes false. As long as the character is not end of file, I am reading the character and displaying it on the screen. The minute I reach the end of the file, okay, this condition becomes false because end of the file is equal to end of the file. So I will come out and I'll return zero. So first what I'll do is I'll run this file, okay, with some error. I'll show you how I'll create the error so that you know what happens if the file does not exist on your hard disk. So let's paste this fellow here. So what I'm going to do here is instead of sample, I'm going to say sample pi.txt. I don't have any file called as sample pi.txt. So now just see what happens when you run this program. You're not going to get a compilation error. You're going to get an error during execution. So first what I'll do is I'll say build and run. Okay, see here now the message. The message is quite clear. Let me enhance it for you. So here you can see the message on the right side of your screen. Sorry, on the top left side of your screen. Error on file open for reading. Because I never created a file called sample file.txt and I'm trying to open it for reading. That's why I got this error. So in order to avoid this error, what I need to do here is I need to have a file which has some data and exists on the hard disk for reading. So what I'll do is I'll go into notepad. I have created a file, just a blank file sample.txt. So let me test this messenger. Let us test working of files in C. It's going to read one character at a time. Okay. Hope you are enjoying learning C. Good day. Okay. And just me let press and enter. So now what I'm doing is now I have created a file called as sample.txt on my D drive. These are the contents three lines in this particular file. It is going to read one character at a time. L print the character E then print the character. So it is going to read the space also and print it. After Y there is a space. Then when it comes here, my file ends. So here the end of the file value, which is generally minus one is returned by the F get C. That time I will stop doing any further processing. So let me save this file. Now I know this file exists on the D drive. Now what I can do is now let's try to see if we can run and print whatever the content of the file we had typed. So I'm going to open the file. I should not get error on file opening. I'm going to read one character at a time. FPTR represents the file name on the disk. That means FPTR represents the source of input for my program. The source of input for F get C or the stream of input for my F get C function happens to be the file on the disk by the name sample.txt. Now, as long as it is not end of file, as long as I've not reached end of file, I'm going to display one character at a time on the screen. Put care also accepts a parameter which happens to be the type of integer and it's going to be displayed as a character. So now let's try to run and see if it really works. Okay, now great. So now if you see here, all right. Now, if you happen to see here, whatever I had typed in that particular file, you are also seeing on the screen one character at a time. So I hope your concept is clear how to read data from a file on the disk and how to show it on your screen. These skills are very essential because in real life, when you go to the industry, you'll be working almost always with files, reading data from a file and printing the output onto a, another file or on the screen. So this way, I hope you got clarity on how we used the F get C to read from a file and put care to display on the screen. The reason CH is int is F get C returns the integer value of the character by converting the ASCII value into integer and assigning it to CH. So as long as I have not reached end of file, which generally is minus one, I'm going to continue to read character by character and then display the character on the screen. So I hope this helps you understand how to use FKC and how to use PutCare together to achieve working with files and the standard output device, which is your screen.